everybody. Uh, I'm just here to read another book to you today. Sorry it took me a minute to get back to reading again. But I'm going to read you Grumpy Monkey. And it's by Susan Lang. And it's um, illustrated by Max Lang. <clears throat> One wonderful day, Jim Pansy woke up to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Well, he does not look very happy. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. Mm, sounds kind of grumpy. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look at how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Then he ran into, into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Well, why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his eyebrows, raised them really high. Then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Sounds like it's making him more grumpy when people tell him that he's grumpy. Then why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Just a fake one. Doesn't look like he's still super happy. Finally, Jim looked happy. But he didn't feel happy inside. Everyone, everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. Doesn't look like he feels like doing anything today. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. Looks like everybody's trying to give him something to do, make him feel a little happier. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy? Jim asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy. And he stormed off. Looks like he was not happy with his friends. Jim felt sorry. A little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No, I danced with porcupine, said Norman. Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, too. For now, I need to be grumpy. 
It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed. And he already felt a little bit better. So that was Grumpy Monkey by Susan Lang and illustrated by Max Lang. It looked like our grumpy monkey just maybe needed a friend to sit with. And sometimes it's okay to have a grumpy day. Just as long as we don't hit anybody and we take a breath and we're able to bring ourselves back to a happy time. So thanks again for reading with me, guys. I miss you all so much and I'll see you around. Bye.